welcome back to the Anchor Media channel. My name is Tatum Iomi K. I am the CEO and executive producer here at Anchor Media. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to get more podcast reviews. Reviews are super important because it helps potential listeners know what your current audience thinks about your content. It gets them excited to listen to the episode. A lot of times reviewers will even talk about the episode in particular that spoke to them and that will entice a potential listener to go and see what they're talking about. It helps establish your podcast reputation. So when you have thousands of five star reviews, then that lets a potential listener know like, oh, this show is pretty popular. Let me check it out. If it has thousands of zero reviews, that can be a turnoff for a potential listener to say, hey, something may be wrong with this show. It's also a great feedback tool. So aside from five star reviews and people, you know, everyone loving the show, it provides really good feedback for you to help improve your show. So someone may say, hey, when um, I love the podcast, but sometimes when they do interviews, it seems like they're talking over each other. That's good feedback for you to take to improve your interviewing skills. Or they may say, and this has happened to me personally, hey, the I, I love the content and the episodes, but sometimes things don't make it to the show notes that she says it's going to be there and I'm like I get it let me make sure that if or let me start taking notes to where I say I'm gonna put this in the show notes writing it down so I don't forget by the time that the episode is over and I'm making sure that I'm delivering to my audience uh, what I said I would throughout the content so reviews give such good feedback both positive and negative and that negative feedback can be constructive to help you improve your content so reviews are amazing to have now let's talk about how you can get those reviews of course ask when you first start the show ask your audience to review ask them to and don't tell them to leave a five-star review ask them to leave an honest review if the content is worth the five stars and the praises then that's what you'll get but you want them to be honest so that you can improve your content and again if your content is really good then it's going to work out well for you you can also read a review live on your show to encourage other people to do the same thing i listened to a podcast once where they used to read negative reviews it was hilarious now if there was some good criticism that they could have used to improve the content on the show but it also made for a very funny segment and moment to where some people you know sometimes comments can be very hateful and so they took something that could have been discouraging and negative and made it funny and fun and uh something that was a real enjoyable moment on the show so read the good ones but it may also be pretty entertaining if you read the negative ones too when you send out emails for your podcast put in your signature for them to leave a review on the show or on social media when you post the different episode clips or you post in your stories or on your profiles ask your audience members to leave a review after listening you can also run a contest and you can use this to kill two birds with one stone you can say Subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us a review, follow us on Instagram, and you'll enter for a chance to win whatever the prize may be. So this running a contest could be a really good opportunity for you to get your goals met across the board, not just with reviews, but with subscribers and followers and all of that. Make sure you're subscribed to our weekly newsletter, The Profitable Podcast, where we are sending you all the latest industry news and giving you even more tips to help you improve your show. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss when we post another video and I'll see you in the next one.